And welcome to McCaffrey's Bar in Alabama. Yes, indeed, folks, you're very welcome to McCaffrey's Bar in Alabama. We're here today celebrating the fact that the Alabama GEA Club have won the Leitrim Senior Football Championship for the first time in 34 years. Yes, indeed. When I was down here uh, last Friday week doing the, the player interviews, I was speaking to PJ Carroll, and you know, uh, we were in Abu Lara about a month ago after Abu Lara won it for the first time ever. We were in Kilbride about three weeks ago when they won it for the first time in 85 years, and now uh, Ahavasa won it for the first time in 34 years. So it's a triumph this year, especially in our region anyway, for the small rural club. Uh, and uh, when I was here last week, uh, everybody was so kind to us, and uh, well, I'm absolutely delighted. Uh, I was in neutral yesterday, uh, but uh, to talk to PJ Carroll and to meet nice people like the Charleses and the McBrines and uh, all the nice people that I met here last week, I was absolutely delighted when I saw uh, that Ahavas could turn in such a splendid display. Now, we're going to, this will be a light hearted uh, sort of a half an hour here uh, to celebrate with the people from Ahavas. Uh, and we're delighted to be here. And we'll be talking to a number of the players and a number of the people from the area. And indeed, we're going to finish with a song. We have a man who has a song written specially for the day. So we'll have that a little bit later on. Now, first of all, first of, first of all, we're going to talk uh, to the chairman of the club, uh, Pat Charles. Pat, not alone are you the chairman of the club and a proud man today, uh, but you have uh, sons uh, involved with the team. And uh, you must be absolutely delighted. Absolutely delighted, Chairman. Absolutely delighted. It, over the moon. It's it's great. It's great for the club. It's wonderful after 34 years. I, I, I can't express how delighted I am for the club and for all the people in the club and the parish. You know, we're a small rural parish, about 750 people, and it's it's a wonderful achievement. It's wonderful. Now, at the start of the year, um, people would not have picked uh, Ahavas as possible champions because there's a lot of other good teams in Leitrim. But said there was one secret ingredient that you brought in. Well, not so secret. You brought in PJ Carroll. Yes, that's right, Seamus. At the beginning of the year, uh, we decided we'd go for a, a, an outside uh, trainer. So PJ Carroll was the man to come up, and that's the name that came up. And uh, PJ came, and we talked to him, and uh, talked to the players, and we decided we'd go with PJ. And from, from, from then on, PJ put a stamp on it from the hard training running up the hill here at the back of the last pitch on Sunday mornings. And it worked in the in the end, James. Absolutely. I'm looking at that here, and certainly I, I could do it running up and down a couple of times before anyone else says it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just looking down there at the field. Actually, we have a lovely view here, uh, down onto the field here, and you have a lovely setup here for for a small club. You have a lovely setup. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just after finishing a fast scheme on on the field. Uh, we just finished last Friday week, and we have new dressing rooms and. Uh, uh, Invalid toilet and uh, press box. Uh, thanks also to, to FOSS for, the, for their contribution to it, and also to, to especially to our local office in Carrigan Shannon and PJ Meehan uh, for all the support to us. Only for that, it wouldn't be possible to do it. And uh, we're also uh, granted a uh, lot of funding now. We have 25,000, which we have a lot more work to do. We have we have a. T a t the car park to finish and we have a, a tennis court to do and we have knitting behind the goals and we have a lot of work still to do but um, it's all going to be done it's, it's great to win it this year and it's, it's a it's a long year long and very hard on finance and financing a small road club is it's hard to come by so uh, it's great to win the championship it'll, it'll help you generate more finance right i'm going to talk to the players now some of the players in just a minute but uh, just uh, as chairman of the club you'd know exactly how what it means to the people in the parish i asked a number of the guys that prior to the program that we did last week and driving down uh, last week and driving down this morning there's a green and white flag outside every single house in the parish isn't there oh yeah that's marvelous it's 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 it's, it's marvelous it's it, it, I can't explain how yeah. it's great. Like after 34 years, it's 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 great to come back. You know, we're in the we were there in '97. We're well well beaten. We come back with the same team, basically almost the same team. And uh, in all small ways, to, thanks to PJ Carry because he really done it. He really. Well, no, he, uh, in fairness, PJ Carry is a great manager, but he did, he doesn't kick the ball over the bar or 
So the players have done a good bit of credit. Oh yes, oh yes. The players they worked very, very hard and they travelled from all over the country, from Manute and Newbridge and Dublin and Innes and all over the country here, two and three nights a week for training and like they couldn't they couldn't have given any better. They couldn't have done any better. Okay, Pat, we'll be back to Pat in a few minutes, but the chairman of this for Pat Charles Now, No. No. A man, a man that I always enjoy talking to because and not alone is he a good footballer, but he's a good man at talking as well. <laughs> Finton McBride, Finton McBride, County Star, congratulations. A, a, a tremendous performance, yes. Thanks very much, Chelsea. As you can hear by me, I am not going to talk today. The voice is gone, but um, it's a great achievement for a small parish. Uh, we put in a lot of effort all over the year, and thank God it paid off at the end of the day. Right. Now, uh, yesterday at half time, it was a terrible day for playing football, and uh, it looked maybe a bit dodgy at half time. You know, maybe we got left uh, playing with the elements in the second half. Were you afraid that maybe, you know, you hadn't enough of a lead at half time? Well, I suppose the way we looked at it, this Alabama team is never afraid. No matter how much we're behind, we have all this heart and determination. I think that proved to them the day we were down a point at half time, but we went in the dressing room and we said to ourselves, that we can play better against the wind than with it because we were driving long balls in and it probably didn't suit us in the first half but we knew we had the legs and we had the speed on the Gretzer team in the second half and we knew if we had played a short game that we were going to overtake them and I think that's what we've done at the end of the day. Very good and uh, somebody was saying there, I think it was Pat Charles was saying me there, that Jim Brady had no kick out at all to take in the second half. I think Jim will be able to play again today now. Uh, uh, He's probably up. <laughs> Where is it? He's not up there, so he's tired. But after all, he's taking out. I think he's late. I think he's late for tired. But uh, it just shows the, the amount of defending and every man got behind the ball. We blocked and we harried and we worked the whole way through the game from number one to fifteen. Every man put in a huge effort and it just showed why our vast are such a batting team. Where German had never a kick out to take because it was from number one to fifteen. We worked and we battled and we kept blocking and hassling and it just showed at the end of the day it paid off. No, oh, you've played in a lot of big matches, both for Leicester and uh, now for Avast. Where would you place this in terms of of uh, a win? I think, James, this is the highlight of my career. I think you, you start off with your club, and I think this uh, I have never witnessed anything like this before. It's great to play for your county, but I think it all starts off in the club. And it's a great feeling to captain the Havas team, the first team to win the championship in the new millennium. And it's great. And please God, we'll back again next year. Now, there you go, of course. Mr. Well, Farrick, how are you doing, Farrick? Farrick McLaughlin, man of the match. Man of the match, Farrick, congratulations. A tremendous performance, particularly in the second half. Tremendous performance, uh, Seamus. Um, as Peter said there, we battled right through the whole game yesterday and from 1 to 16, the 16 lads came on and played yesterday. It was them won the game yesterday. Every one of them was a the man of the match yesterday. I was delighted for the likes of Eamon Heston, Willie Casey, lads like that that's been playing with us down through the years and that fantastic games yesterday. And every man was a man of the match yesterday. Mm. Well, uh, at, the st at the start of the year, uh, Park, when PJ took over, did you say to yourself, at, any at what stage did you say to yourself, because maybe we can win the senior championship this year. Well, I think on the very start, I think it was on the 14th of February we started, and we made a commitment that we were going to give it a whole lash this year, that everything was going to be winning the championship. That was the main objective of the year, and we proved it. And every lad put in their whole heart and soul into it this year. Lads travelled long and far for training on Tuesday nights, wet and windy weather, they looked down on the hill there, we had many to slog on that hill, running up it and falling on our knees and lads throwing up and everything on a Sunday morning. But <laughs> no one my brain was fond of that. Right? <laughs> and Tosh McKeown wasn't far behind her either. No, but it really all, it really all paid off and I'm so delighted for the club. And all our supporters, if you see the crowd that's here this morning, it's great. Yeah. And I believe the supporters, uh, PJ Carroll was telling me the last night I was here, that the uh, best supporters are the best supporters in Leitrim, that you have more crowds at your matches than anyone else, and yet you have a, you have a small parish. That's true. 
I seen us this year going up to play games in Navan and that for challenge games and the people came following us and it showed there out there yesterday the crowd that was there and people people that's outside the parish as well, living in Dublin and everywhere, came down for this game today. All all people that came from the parish originally and it's great for them. It gives them a bit of pride. And to hear people like James McGovern yesterday being a proud man up in Dublin, he said he could go back to Dublin in comfort, like, you know, so and uh, I mean, I, I said to, to Finton there, I asked Finton there, you've played a lot of matches now for Leeds as well. Where would you place this? Is, is this uh, the highlight of your career? Without a doubt, it's, uh, it was the proudest day yesterday in my football and career. Um, it was great to play with the county, but I'm winning a Connacht Championship in '94. But this surpasses it, like, to be playing on a team with such a great bunch of lads. It's, it's the best football. And it's the that you, you grew up with. Sir. It is. Yeah. We started off, remember, every, nearly everyone on this team started playing under 12 football together. We won under 12, under 14, under 16, minor, under 21, and yesterday was the only the senior championship was the one we were missing. But we have it now. Yeah. Good round. How are you doing? Go on. How serious? Go on, McCaffrey. How are you keeping? You're, you're very welcome. You're actually coming in here. Uh, somebody... I think I heard somebody saying after the match on the interviews yesterday that uh, to come in here into Ahabas the year that to win the senior championship would be a baptism of fire. <laughs> well, that's right, Seamus. Um, I wish to congratulate the Ahabas team on their great victory yesterday and uh, every success to them in the year to come. You had a very quiet night last night, I heard. Oh, very quiet. They were very early. Very early. Very early. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be quiet again today. <laughs> Well, anyway, um, a great win, a great win, and a great performance. It's a great performance, a great performance, and a, and a terrible day weather-wise. Terrible day weather-wise. Weather All right, uh, Owen, thanks very much. Hi, thanks, Owen. thanks, Seamus. All right, terrible day. Eamon, how's it? Eamon, how are you? Eamon, really. Eamon, uh, you're welcome to the programme today, and uh, as you can see, a lot of people very happy here. Thank you very much. A lot of them very happy. Happier maybe than I am, because I'm the one that has to work today, and I, I, want, I want them personally to have to know that, that I am working, and that I won't be... Signing late this evening or anything, and well, if you have uh, any bills to deliver around the house, you may keep them in your pocket until tomorrow. <laughs> well, uh, it's the very opposite because Anthony and myself were in there this morning, and the Suckland Grant is out today. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell, you, I tell you, Anthony and I could have done it out of today, but Anthony was claiming this morning that McCarthy phoned up Friday to tell the minister to send it out so there'll be more spending power during the week. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this much. I tell you this much, that you can come and apply for your suction grant in a minute. Wait. We'll pour a kill down this end. Uh, 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 I don't mind. I'll be quite happy to hand them out here, and no one, I'm sure, will be quite happy to cash them as well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'd just like to congratulate the lads and wish them good luck in their future tour and in the kind of championships on the week because. I never played any football, but I got a lot of satisfaction being involved with a lot of these lads over the years, and I suppose that they often heard to me shouting off the line, and I suppose I often give out free advice to referees on that too during the game. I've been knowing a little bit for that, but... You wouldn't charge them anywhere. No, a lot of better. And I, but I would like to compliment the linesmen and umpires and the referee yesterday. I think they did a fine job, and I think that uh, under terrible conditions, the help to the quality of the game that was played. No, we're here in Ahavas today as well, and you know, if Gartletra had won, we had plans to go to Gartletra as well. So it's it's important to point out, I suppose, uh, that there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. For Ahavas, you're delighted naturally enough that Ahavas won, but there are two teams to, to contest the county final, and at, at the end of the day, you, you know, you guys, uh, you don't want to feel the way Gartletra do today. And I suppose it's fair only fair to. Spare a thought for them. They're not feeling too happy today, but sure, there has to be a winner, isn't it? Well, there has to be a winner and there has to be a loser. And I, I've been there as chairman and as, and as a selector as a loser in, in 1987. And I went out yesterday and I put my arms around Damien Smith and I said, the last time I put my arms around you here, both of us was on our knees crying after Alan Gale's beatness. But we had tears yesterday, but there were tears of joy and tears, tears of success. And it made up for that three years ago, and I know all about losing. Yeah, all right. Eamon, <laughs> well done, and well said. Oh, Gabriel, how are you doing? Gabriel McCabe, I, I believe you're home, you come home for America, especially for this uh, match. That's why they did. I came home on uh, Thursday morning there. I've been watching it all year, you know, reading the papers. Where are you in America? Over in New Jersey. Very good. And uh, obviously, you're our best man, so and so. Best man, we're awesome, man. Up the other end of the parish. Right. But I've been watching them, you know, all year long, yeah. reading the papers, that's all I had to do. Right. I couldn't have won for every game. Right. But anyways, I had no doubt in my mind, you know. Yeah. I booked the flight, I says, I'm going for the final. And tell me, t uh, tell me, um, did you play for Havas yourself? I played underage football. Underage. 
under the 12, under 14, under 16. Did you, when, when did you come back? Uh, Friday? Thursday, Thursday morning. And you're going to stay for a while? Tomorrow morning. Go home in the morning. <laughs> I have a funny feeling. I have a, In the cup and go out. I have a funny feeling you mightn't be going tomorrow morning. <laughs> I have a very funny feeling now that uh, I, I, you'll have to put something a bit later into the lads, I think. So there were a fine bunch of lads, you know, the dummy proud yesterday, no doubt in mind coming in that they were going to do that. Well, it just goes to show you a small club, so for somebody to come all the way from New Jersey for, for a county final, it's, uh, it's, it's brilliant, and well done. All right. Thank you. Oh, Charlie, how are you? Charlie McCabe, so that's all right. Charlie, I missed you the, the, the night I was down. I don't think I missed you the night I was down during the interviews with the lads, but you must be absolutely delighted. Absolutely delighted. Um, like you were saying, we'll miss you that night. Um, myself and Sean McCartan said that night, neither of us was going to talk to you at all. We said, we'll talk to you on Monday when you come back to Brady's. After the final, so you're here, and we're talking to you now. <laughs> As an Arabic man, you must be absolutely delighted. I know PJ is the manager, but it's the players, it's a team effort, the selectors, the club itself has to be right. You know, everything has to be right for, for it to an achievement of success like this. Everything has to be right. It was, a, it was a huge effort by a lot of people yesterday. Uh, not least the 15 lads, the 16 lads that finished the game. Uh, a lot of work has gone into it since last February, as PJ Carr will tell you when we started playing them. Um, loads of people de deserve a lot of credit for it. And as, as is normal with Arabic, there's a lot of people who won't even stand up to look for credit. All, as far as we're concerned, we have the cup here in the Havas today, brought home yesterday evening, and that's, uh, that's the main thing, as far as we're concerned. Well, no, uh, it's what the GEA is all about. It's uh, the parish. And really, when a Havas GEA club brings home that cup, it's for the parish of Havas, isn't it? Yes, it's for the people of Havas. And you're here this morning, Seamus, the, the place is full, the, it's packed outside the carriage and everything. It's for a parish. We, the game was won yesterday for the people of the parish, and that's what we done yesterday. Were you worried at any stage yesterday, half time, maybe, that you know you didn't have enough of a lead going into that second half? We were very worried at half time. Very, very worried. Mm. Yes. But you produced a uh, super second half display. In the second half, the lads were tremendous now. We'd have to say, I have asked the way we played yesterday, we'll play a lot of teams in Ireland. We were very, very good, have to say. People, people that, that had to turn in a performance, done it yesterday in the second half. Half time, we were very worried. At the end of the game, we were very happy. <laughs> but I, have to say, I have to say, he, he wouldn't talk to me last by the week, but he's talking to me today, and we, uh, we stay friends now after that. <laughs> Come on, Chandler, thanks very much. All right, Charlie McCabe, then. thanks very much. <laughs> Noel, how are you? You're very welcome. Noel Blessing, what did, you, uh, uh, what did you make out of that whole day yesterday, and the whole atmosphere around here today, Anna? It, it was a tremendous achievement, uh, Seamus. Uh, very pleased for the team and the management, and it was a tremendous game of football in the second half for all of us. They played their hearts out. Mm. I thought uh, we were going to have a problem at midfield, but as it happened, Heslin did the day. He certainly did. He did the business. He did the business. The team was great. I thought we played tremendous stuff in the second half. I, I, I had, I had, I had a... Yeah, that we might lose it at, at half time. Yeah. For, against the breeze, you know? Yeah. But uh, we really performed right yeah. now. And uh, I'd say you're a very proud man to see that cup. It, it, it's 34 years is a long time since uh, it was here. Well, absolutely. I, it brings back memories of 66. I was uh, on the team in 66. Oh, man. It's a long time. It sure me. is. 34 years. It's time we won it again. I'd say that uh, you talk to an awful lot of play older players in the GEA and they always say, I wish another team had come along and relieve us of the burden of being the last team to win us. Well, absolutely. I was hoping it would happen again in my lifetime, anyway. And you saw it yesterday. And I think there's several championships in that team if they keep it together. There you go. No, well, thanks very much. Uh, I'd just, like uh, just like to pay a tribute to PJ Carroll. He had them in tremendous shape for the game. Yes, thanks. Thanks. No investing, folks. Tom Adapton. How are you, Tom? How are you, Tom? Uh, nice to meet you. Well, what did you make out of that, Chester? Oh, very, very happy. It's, it's hard to believe that we have won the championship. It's, um, it's, it's the best thing that ever happened in this uh, club uh, for these youngsters coming on. I'm delighted for them now, and um, 
I'm delighted for PJ Clarell as well. The more than more there to Tantano. Did you think there was a chance it was going to come? I know you got to the final in 97. But I think it would be fair to say that you only played two games to get to the final in 97. played six games this year. You were unbeaten all the way through and had played some great football. So, you know, maybe this year was the year that it was going to come. Well, uh, it looked uh, didn't look good at half-time, but I knew it was in the lads because all this weekend come out in the second half and uh, display, um, like uh, down here in the league game, um, against the Letra, we're down seven points so at one stage of half time and we'll come back and bet them. So I knew, I knew that it was in our lads to come and to finish it off and I'm delighted for them. But a, a sense of pride, wouldn't that be right, you know? I mean, everybody, you know, on Sunday night you celebrate and maybe today they celebrate, but when you sit down in a week's time, it's a sense of pride really and real satisfaction that you get from a win like this, isn't it? And it certainly is, it certainly is, it certainly is. All right, uh, thanks a million. I'll tell you what we're going to do now. We're going to take a short break back at base just so we get organised because we have one more spin to go and we have a song coming up uh, and uh, we'll be talking to a number of people. So we'll take a break for about three minutes and we'll be back after that. And we're back, we are. We're back in McCaffrey's uh, in Ahavas. Very quiet crowd here today. Well, the place is absolutely packed. It's an absolutely fantastic atmosphere. First of all, before we go any further, I want to thank Terry Williams here, who is uh, the floor manager today. He's been great. He's, uh, he has got a lot of victims over to talk to me here. And uh, I, I'm going to talk to... Uh, the next man I'm going to talk to is... You know the way um, at the end of GEA matches, people say, oh, such and such should have got man of the match, and such and such should have got man of the match. Paul McLaughlin got man of the match. You could pick 15 or 16 man of the matches yesterday for uh, Ahavas, but a lot of people said to me today and last night that a man that kind of was there or thereabouts was this the next man here, Eamon Hudson. Eamon. Yeah. Yeah. Eamon, well done. You must be absolutely delighted. A tremendous performance in the second half. Over the moon. I never thought we'd get this at all. It was absolutely brilliant. And Paulie McLaughlin was brilliant yesterday. He's been brilliant all through the year. He's done without so many holes during the year that he did deserve it yesterday. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He played well yourself in the second half. We're a bit worried at half time maybe that you didn't have enough of a lead. Not really, no. We're, we're, a, team, we're a team that always produces in the second half. Win or no win. We're a short passing game against the win and we've done well yesterday. I thought we done very well yesterday against the win. And a couple of players came into the game in the second half. Next to Kevin Keane and Raymond McBride, they played well in the second half. And it made a big difference when you have players like that coming out. And so I'll rate you. This is a great win. See, your father over there, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a very, very proud man. How are you doing, Eddie? Eddie, you must be delighted. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I'll tell you one thing. There's plenty of you that will take your place. Uh, my brother played in the last championship. 66. So you must be Along with Noel. Noel Blessing. Yeah. So you're, you're a happy man today? Hang on. Good man, thanks for, thanks for being here. <laughs> now, Mrs. McQuarrie in a minute. I just want to, we'll talk to Mrs. McQuarrie in one minute and we have a song coming up as well to finish off with. I uh, rang a certain house uh, this morning looking for Sean McCartan and I was told by a very nice uh, lady, he's in the bed, don't disturb him. <laughs> He got up and he's here. Uh, I don't know, Sean, I didn't mean to embarrass you, but I, I tell you, you, you're a very proud man, Secretary uh, of the club. Yeah, I was very proud. I'm delighted for the lads that are trying to be a performance yesterday. Like, you know, they have been doing it all the, through the year in the championship. And, like every one of them, from 1 to the 16 that played, and 1 to the 20 that well, I played all year. You know, I'm delighted for them because and over the years, they've been such an effort, and uh, they were, their goal was what, like yes, the final and the big and I'm it. Right now, in the club, of course, there's the players and the management and the backup and the whole lot. And I know that you want to, especially uh, you want to mention the sponsors. Yeah, I want to, I want to surely mention the sponsors because without the sponsors, uh, we'd be going nowhere. And uh, like a uh, company like our has to take a side of money to keep the thing going, and. Only for our sponsors, as I, and our main sponsor, James McGarvin. James is the president of our club as well, and he, over the last couple of years, 
Like, he didn't come in when, the, when, we, when we were winning. He came in at the, at, at, at the bottom end and was always walking in the morning to us. And fair to him, he was back again yesterday. And I, I think uh, uh, Tommy Warren was uh, talking to Tommy during the week. And he said, if, if you're stuck with a player, he said, James is winning a corner forward. He says, what do you say? No, Sean, thanks for that. Uh, okay, because uh, we have to, uh, to move it on. Now, uh, this woman, how many sons have you involved in the uh, last pan? Five sons. Five sons. How about that? <laughs> Mrs. McBride, you must be you must be absolutely delighted today. Delighted. I'm delighted today and delighted last night. What, you, what, what, what have you been feeding them for us on the last night? Well, the usual. You must have been giving them the right stuff now, I don't know. Well, I suppose I was. But well, I mean, a long time waiting for 24 years, a long time in the parish, and uh, I'm sure you must be delighted. I'm delighted, and Fintan, the captain, and the youngest. Yeah. So, well done. You did a good job. <laughs> Your work for all that was so far. Now, uh, I spoke to... Uh, we, we spoke... Come on, Mary Ryan. He told me he couldn't get a parking place outside. I'm looking down the road, I can see hundreds of parking spaces. <laughs> Jerry Brady, they tell me that you had no kick out. I thought you had one in the second half, but you had no kick out at all to make yesterday. So the lads were saying that you couldn't have a sore leg anyway. No, the legs aren't sore, but the voice is gone. So. And, and it, wasn't, it wasn't from singing now last yeah. night either. Uh, you enjoyed that yesterday, obviously, and uh, you know, looking out in front of you, Adrian Charles and the defence played so well in the second half yesterday. The defence were brilliant. Uh, like, it, it, it just goes to prove, you know, they the, the cut out everything and. It must go down, and it's pr pr probably in history that a goalkeeper never kicked the ball out or hardly even touched the ball during the whole game, never mind just the second half. Um, uh, the defence was brilliant, but uh, midfield, they did their job, and then they laid on the balls to the forwards, and the forwards took their scores. And brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was brilliant. Yeah, the quiet night last night, it's a... Very quiet, very quiet, John. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're getting very close to the end. Tell me, Charles, how are you? Good to meet you, Jim. Well, happy man. Like winning the national lottery. Yeah. <laughs> or better. Uh, yeah, I've been associated with our vast year club for a good many years, and I was on a losing side in 1970 against the same opposition, so it really was a treat yesterday. And I have to say, I was for a half an hour in the dressing room, and it was as nervous as all the players and management. But I can tell you one thing from once them boys got out on the field, it was a credit to be on the field in Charlie and Shannon yesterday around the sideline there, the way them lads played including all the subs and all this. And um, I have to say there to the team management that team peaked on the right time. And I uh, want to congratulate the three boys that were involved there, same as uh, um, Peter Charlie, Charlie McCabe and Sean McCartan. And Sean is, as I know, he's a neighbour of me on down the road there. He's been associated with the club for 11 or 20 years in both in management and as secretary of the club as well too. So it's a great, great day for our boss and I'm proud to be alive and to witness that occasion. Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, lads, uh, we're coming down towards the end of the programme. We have, we, we have a, a special song to come around here beside me. You can face the music here now. Yes, sir. Before we go, before we go, uh, I want to thank Jimmy uh, Nachton for his help here this morning, and especially to Terry Williams, who organised the whole show here today. Uh, I want to talk, thank uh, Pat Charles, uh, PJ Carl, and Sean McCartan, uh, uh, and the lads from the Ahavas team, who made us feel so welcome. The people of Ahavas who made us feel so welcome today. So, we're going to go to the song, Colin Morton, isn't it, Colin? That's me, yeah. All right, right. Listen, as the fellow says, listen carefully. <laughs> well, the panel has finally ended since the days of 66. When on Sunday in Park Shawn, the green and gold, they triumphed. The finish, there was no doubt in this fine win. When our own boys from Ahavast took home the Alice Cup. Now conditions there were terrible, with the rain and wind blowing the gale. But an, it made no difference to our boys, they showed their true grit. Right from the start, the green and gold ran Gondetra off the pitch. With tremendous display of class and skill, they simply could not match. Now with names like McBrien, McLaughlin, Charles Brady and Smith, Col Reavy, Casey and McKiernan, with Keegan on the wing. <laughs> McNamara did his part like a brave Avas man would. But the man I want to mention most is Eamon Hess Heslin. <laughs> All the 
time, and he kept the mighty Seamus Quinn quiet for the day. <coughs> now finally, let me say to you, this is our finest day. County champions in millennium year, the most famous of them all. Thanks to Sean, Charlie, and Pat for all the work they've done. And finally, that man, PJ Carl, who put all of us back where they belong. <laughs> Paddy Kane.